What is this place? It looks like a big old crater on the moon. Actually, it's Mars. This is supposed to be Mars. How's it going, everybody at home? If you are a member of the Toe Clan, please say, type the comment, Woo! Toe Clan Unite in the comments. I know you haven't watched my most one of my episodes of Mudrunner, Vince, because like halfway through it, I'm like, Vince, if you're watching this Let's Play, I want you to comment this. And then I said something outlandish oh, yeah. and stupid. So hopefully, hopefully yeah, you get to watch it Mudrunner yet. yet. Okay, it's good. So guys, if you don't know, I've uploaded way too many fucking videos, and uh, Vince, or, or as Luke says, Vincey, my boy, uh, I asked him to. Uh, he's actually been catching up on almost all my content. He's almost all caught up. Aside from like, shoot one of the barrels, shoot one of the barrels. Best tactic, yeah. I think, I, I think I you got think it. I hit that. You, you, you sure? Oh. oh god, you didn't. Oh god, got this. Oh, hit a barrel. Oh, that barely grazed you. <laughs> That's barely a scratch. Hit the barrels that barely grazed you. <laughs> Donkey Kong is gonna be pissed. Oh, the barrels are gone. They're just angry demons. Hmm. What's your favorite Donkey Kong game? Um. Donkey Kong 64, probably. Good choice. That is also with music by Grant Kirkhope. Hello, Grant Kirkhope. I've been talking about him a lot. But that's because he is an incredible man with an incredible plan to be an incredible man. Do not fall in the pit of acid. But, but why but, not? But why? Why are you taking all my fun away from <laughs> Don't me? Don't tell mate? me what to live my life. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> uh, inside jokes, everybody. They would come outside jokes. So guys, the three places we went to, because I know some of you are just dying to know what I was talking about for the last two episodes when I said I spent all my money. I bought two games at Game World, so that was 30 bucks. I bought um, a custom six-pack of cider. That's a, that's a hazard suit, so if you're going into acid, pick it up. Okay. And it only, only stays on you for a short while. I think it only stays on you for like two minutes. So I hope you used it well. And lots of demons. Ah... See, I warned you, Vince. I just played this level at my house yesterday. Delicious. A delicious acid. So, guys, um... Oh! So, guys, uh, I bought a custom six-pack. I bought two video games, which I really want to play. Even though Game World screwed up my disc, they gave me Persona 3 instead of Persona 4. But I'm not mad. I wanted to play Persona 3 as well. So. Technically for $5 off, if you look yeah. at it that way. It's true. So I'm happy. But, yeah... So, uh oh, your dogs are coming. Hey, yo, here comes Sophie. Hey, yo, Sophie. That was right on time. It's always on like the third episode. It is always on the third episode. You smell. You smell like a big dump. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like a big dump. <laughs> I didn't say. Mm. I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, but it sounds like you're going. Mm. <laughs> a big dump. Mm. I love my big dumps. Dude, what is okay? Because we're we're fun here on the show. What was the worst like gastrointestinal emergency situation you've ever had? Like something like you were sick and you really had to use the toilet, or you ate something bad and you really had to use the toilet. What I really hate is when you're sick you're and you're late. coughing, and that causes and it like loosens, a loosens your sphincter for you. Yeah. <laughs> when you cough and you're just you're like quack, and you're like, oh man, I just hit myself. You're big funny. Big and funny. Hugs, that, hugs, hugs. That is the absolute worst. Yeah, I had a story like that. Um, when I was in the ninth grade, I had I caught a really bad flu. You know what I mean? And it was one of those flus when you like have a fever, and then when you wake up, your lips are covered in blisters because your fever was so bad. You know, it was one of those. Have you ever had those? I don't think I've ever had. Oh those, God, one like that. That was really bad. Like I legit had like face blisters at the. Uh, out, like the second day of my flu but I, I had to stay home from school and my mom went to work and my brother went to school and my dad went to work so I was the only one in the house and I was wearing my long sleeve green shirt like flannel bottoms because I was freezing thermal socks yes love this gun the mini gun is so good oh yeah well, so I had flannel me? I had flannel socks uh, flannel pants a thick long sleeve neon green shirt mm -hmm. I was watching Spongebob and it was about to be Mythbusters. So I was going to watch Mythbusters, and my stomach grumbled. So I was like, okay, I'll go stand up and get some water, some 7-Up, you know, a nice drink. And literally the action of me standing up caused me to shirt my pants. Oh. It was so bad. It was really bad. And I was like, great. So I had to run upstairs to the bathroom, and I had to get new pants. It was bad. And then I had to drink my glossopy. I'm just kidding. I'm bringing that joke back. Kill him. Get him. 
It's what's I weird almost is fell in, down in that in uh, the acid. Yeah, it's acid all acid stuff. down there. So in the PC version, all those windows are covered up with grates, which I guess they couldn't really get the grates down pat on the SNES version. Sophie, go sleep. Your dog's making a huge mess. <laughs> okay, critical. That's <laughs> yeah, a critical Kaito voice. Technically, any of these voices works. I gotta tell you, this alien can kiss the darkest part of my asshole. Is that critical talks? Oh god. <laughs> But don't worry, bro. You're my bro. Pick it up. Drop it down. All right, there, sweetie. I had so much faith in you. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'd have an easier time solving a Rubik's cube with my bare nipples. I do, I do love Critical. He's a I, funny I man. I knew that you'd figure it out. <laughs> That's what my sidekick is for. <laughs> <laughs> I think I gave uh, Kaito a good voice by giving him the Critical voice, which is funny because I didn't give him the Critical voice until like episode twenty. Because I got mad that I didn't give anyone a critical voice. Yeah. And I was like, oh, Kaido's voice is too similar to other people's voices. I'll just turn him into critical. And then he was. Hooray. And now I can shut the door again. And now I can get warm again. It was starting to get chilly. It was starting to get chilly. What is your favorite recipe that revolves around chili? Um... Because we talked about Chili Mac I, on Blood Rain, which is great. I love Chili Mac. I don't know. I just like my own recipe of chili. I do uh, uh, one-third hamburger meat, one-third uh, Italian sausage, one-third uh, cubed uh, meat. So, like, stew meat. Nice. And then I do my uh, pinto beans, kidney beans, uh, my peppers, onions, garlic. Yeah. Uh, my spices that I, I use in them. Secret spices. I can't tell y'all. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I put in a, a beer. That makes good chili, like I swear. My mom's chili recipe uses two Heinekens in its ingredient list. Huh. It's so I mean, good. I don't like Heineken, but... It works, though. Like, it really works. Where what, Where was I just at, just a moment ago? I don't even know where I was I don't know, going. I wasn't paying attention. I was petting your dog and talking about beer. Oh, there you were. <laughs> well, yeah. no, I was here before, but there's a room that totally I backed out of and I went the wrong way. It's totally fine. If I have a gun and some willpower, I can make it through this. Okay. I feel like maybe I should grab my radiation suit and then go down in the... Perhaps it's a good idea. Get the radiation suit. Alright. <laughs> it's so easy to do Critical's voice. It's weird though, because if I do Critical's voice too like much, I'll start yawning. This is not where I want to like, be. This is not where I want to be. Holy shit. I went the wrong direction. <laughs> Have I showed you any videos that Critical's done, or just, like, the only thing I've done is impersonate Critical? The only thing you've done is impersonate Critical? <laughs> All you have to do is, uh, you put me like this. Seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. This entire Let's Play should be done in Critical's voice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'd be honored. He'd be so fucking honored. Oh my god. Look there's, at all these people. There's 20 demons. If I had a demon for every time I masturbated, I would have... I die. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, get away from my cider. Get away from the cider. Your dog keeps climbing me. I know. Sophie needs hugs. Why does your dog need so many hugs? I don't know. You don't, give this, dog, my you don't give this dog enough attention. No, we give her so much freaking attention. <laughs> she is just attention. greedy. You don't want my heart. Baby, you'll just sit there for a new way. Someone new. You don't want attention. I knew from the start. <laughs> I'm yelling at your dog. <laughs> you smell. But yeah, uh, I need to play you more of 8-Bit Universe as well. So guys, there's a YouTube group I really like. They're called 8-Bit Universe. They do uh, NES sounding 8-bit covers of pop songs. Usually they do like retro 80s, 90s, early 2000s pop. They've started to branch out to do modern songs mostly, which is okay because there's some good modern songs that the covers are actually better. So, yeah. Who's funny? Funny. You know what else is funny? This game. I love Doom. More barrels. Watch out. More Daryls. Don't worry, I killed them all. You killed all the Daryls? That's, that's sad. Except there's a... You know what I hate? Joe over there. I love how... Uh, Freaking Game of Thrones isn't going to come back for the last season until 2019. You want to go outside? Go, go. Are oh, they go. waiting for George yeah. to finish writing it? Yeah. George is crazy. Go. 
Coin! But yeah, they probably are waiting for George R R R R R R R R Martin. Are you going to finish this stupid series? <laughs> George R, are you going to finish this series, George? I've actually never I'm Freddy's George. I'm glad I'm glad you met those two guys. They're so awesome. I uh, can't wait to meet the other one. Yes, you are gonna get Neville's signature? Yeah. Do you have a Funko? I do not. I have to get a Funko. Okay. Because I'm gonna meet Zach Callison. That's like the only guy I wanna meet there. He's the voice of Steven in Steven Universe. And I have a Steven Funko, so of course I'm going to have him sign that. And then all the fangirls will get jealous. Oh my gosh. The only per, per, like person on Steven Universe I really want to meet is Dee Dee Magno Hall. She's the voice of Pearl. And she is legitimately like super duper nice, I've heard from everybody. She literally acts like a mom to all the other cast members. Yeah. Like, like on Zach Callison's Twitter, uh, he tweeted he was literally having a conversation with Dee Dee as if, you know, she was his actual mom because... She's one of the moms in uh, the cartoon, which is hilarious. So it works when you work with somebody for four years and then all of a sudden you start acting like your characters. That's happened before, though. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Like, there's been even, like, situations when, like, actors have, like, dated on a show and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, my God, we're, we're really compatible. What is this? <laughs> Damn it, Jackie, I can't control the weather. You know how many people, though, that happens to, though, that they... Start dating one of their coworkers, and then they're because miserable. they were dating on the show, and yeah. then they hate it. Yeah, and then it ruins the show, and it ruins their friendship, and it ruins the dynamic. It ruins a lot of things. Damn it, Jackie, you ruined the dynamic. I do love the yeah. Ranch, most of though. the time, her name is Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me think of some good Mila Kunis movies. What is a good Mila Kunis movie I've never seen? That mm. I've probably never seen. I don't know. I've seen Bad Moms, and I thought it was. Eh. I see. I have not seen that one. It's okay. It is literally cliche. It's like, it's like Bridesmaids Extreme. I said I never saw Bridesmaids either. Okay. The only thing I don't like about Bridesmaids is Melissa McCarthy. I hate Melissa McCarthy. She I sucks. cannot stand her. She's not funny. And I was so annoyed when they tried when they doing did, uh, uh, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, yes. Okay, here's the thing. Before. Before James Gunn and all of his fans get mad at us, was the new Ghostbusters good? It was okay. Was it uh, just okay because it had an all-girl cast? No, it sucked, but it all just happened to have an all-girl cast. If they cast all dudes and it had the same writing, I would have still hated it. Really? I'm pretty sure I would have, yeah. I don't know. I haven't watched it just because, like, I get what they're trying to do. Yeah. But... I'm sorry, when the original is set to be... I, mean, I have nothing against, you know, female actors. Yes. Like, Ocean's but, 8 looks pretty good. Yeah. But, like, if the original... If you're trying to base something off the original, it yes. needs to be the same sort of... Feel. Feel to the original. Yeah. And since and it's I'm, Guys, not, I'm not telling Vince how to play this level. It's going to be blind for him. But, yeah. So, another weird thing about, like... Uh, them trying to do like a whole bunch of female protagonists like they did that in Star Wars and they've done that in a whole bunch of other things I'm totally cool with that it's awesome you go girl but like there's a level when they try to use that as a as a crutch essentially that's like oh you don't like it it's because you're sexist or something like that then no that's not how that works yeah like Rey in Star Wars great female lead I like I like Rey she's a great character absolutely but again and they're just using that because everything now, if you're rebooting anything, give it a female lead, call it something completely different, or call it the exact same thing and be like, ooh, it's brand new, but there's a girl this time, and you're like, okay, I'll buy it. You don't need to bribe me, Hollywood. Perfect example, have you seen the new Tomb Raider trailer for the new movie? Huh. It, it actually looks good. I love Laura Croft. She's awesome. She's a badass. She can kick some ass and steal some stuff. Uh, rape some tombs as it were and it looks actually really good I'll definitely see that in theaters if you want to go with yeah you need to get I, your I need uh, to get Uvi May ass pay <laughs> <laughs> yeah I do need to get Uvi May ass pay I still have to use mine I haven't used mine yet well think of a movie okay. every that's where it is like every five days and just go ham if you at least I'd say with the membership cost if you see at least three movies a month then you're getting your money out of it you know even if it's just crap. I mean, especially in the summer, then you'll really get worth it. It'll be worth it. Because you can literally be like, 
oh, on Friday, six movies come out. So if I watch one on Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, one on Monday, and you can do that with Uvi May Aspe. And it's beautiful. I really want to see Incredibles 2. Like, I would literally buy a movie pass just to watch it, go home, wait 24 hours, go back to the theater, watch it again. Are you allowed to do that? Damn. Okay, why am I keep getting killed in that room? I've killed everybody in there. Is there one guy that's up at the top? I don't think so. Is usually the one in, in like the PC version of Doom, the camera will tilt towards whoever killed you. You know what I'm saying? So like when you get, like in Duke Nukem. In Nuke Nukem. I'm just saying words now. I'm just saying words. Well, did you want to end the episode here? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the ep episode here. Uh, I'll do kind of a little bit of a jump cut before I start the new episode. Back to where uh, we've completed everything that you've already seen. And we'd like to thank you so much for watching this adventure in... Doom! Later, dudes!